Hi and welcome to a new video. Today I'm going to show you how to make a multi-purpose doily. You can use this doily as a coaster, decorative element, or a dish separator. For this project I'm going to use cotton yarn from Nako Calico. It's 50% cotton, 50% acrylic. And I'm going to use a 4mm hook. Before I start, please don't forget to press thumbs up if you like the video. And to subscribe to my channel if you haven't done this already. And to share this video with your loved ones. First, I will start with the white yarn. I've decided to make 6 pieces of this doilies. I used one color for each piece. And the sixth piece will be of multi-color of all the colors I've used already. These are the colors I've used to make the doilies. I'm going to start the multi-colored doily with the white yarn. I will make the starting knot. Then I'm going to chain 8 and join them into a ring. Start your row by chaining one and yarn over and then make 16 double crochets. After finishing the 16 double crochets, insert your hook in the first double crochet you work and then make a slip stitch to cast off the first row. Now I'm going to start with row 2. Chain 1 and make 2 double crochets in each of the stitches. That means your 16 double crochets will be 32 in row 2. After finishing the 32 double crochets, insert your hook in the first stitch. I'm going to bring the blue yarn, fold it and make a slip stitch to, to switch the color from white to blue. After making the slip stitch, I will tie the yarns, the two yarns, two times. Now we'll start row number 3. Chain 1 and in the first stitch work 1 double crochet. Chain 1 then in the second stitch make 1 double crochet. Chain 1 again and work in the third stitch a double crochet. Now don't chain, just make a double crochet in the very next stitch. Chain one now and work in the next stitch a double crochet as well. Chain one again and work in the next stitch, make a double crochet. Continue in the same way until you have three spaces between each double crochet.
get three spaces make a double crochet without chaining so that you have two double crochets without a chain in between continue your row working the same way until you finish and come back to see how we we'll start the next row When you reach the end, you will have the three spaces I talked about. Don't chain and make a double crochet in the last stitch, then chain one and insert your hook in the first stitch you worked in this row. I'm going to switch the yarn color to the orange one. I will cut the blue yarn and I'm going to switch to the orange yarn in the same way I showed you before now chain one and make a double crochet in the first stitch chain one again and make a double crochet in the next stitch then chain one again in the next stitch make two double crochet without any chains in between so the two stitches that are together you should make four double crochets making the two into four in the first I work two double crochets and now in the next I will make also two double crochets it should look like that chain one and make a double crochet in the next stitch chain again and make another double crochet then chain again and make and here you should repeat and make four double crochets instead of two continue working in the same way until you reach the end come back to continue the next row when you reach the end the last two stitches you should you should make four stitches instead of two so you make two double crochets in each stitch finally chain one and insert your hook in the first stitch I'm going to cut the orange yarn and work with the white yarn again now chain one and make a double crochet in the first stitch as you we are repeating our steps we are just adding or increasing the number of double crochets or our stitches chain one again and work in the second stitch and make a double crochet now chain one and make a double crochet in the third stitch when you reach the four stitches we did without any chains in between make an additional chain and make two consecutive double crochets in the middle of the four we did from last row chain one again and in the fourth stitch make a double crochet 
continue working in the same way chain one double crochet chain one double crochet until you reach the middle of the four stitches make two consecutive stitches without a chain in between and continue working in the same way until you reach the end the end of the row and come back to see how we're going to work in the next row Now I will show you how to finish this row. Last step in this row I will make a chain and insert my hook in the first stitch. I will leave the white yarn and I'm going to switch to the fuchsia color. Fold the yarn and insert it in the work as I told you before do the same steps as usual start by chaining one and making a double crochet in the first stitch continue chaining one and making a double crochet in each stitch until you reach the two consecutive double crochets when you reach these two double crochets make two double crochets in each stitch that you'll have four double crochets instead of two now chain one and continue working your double crochets in the next stitches until you reach another two consecutive double crochets repeat the steps to the end of the row finish this row and come back to continue together when you reach the end I will work four double crochets in the last two consecutive stitches in the same way I showed you before chain one and make a double crochet in the last stitch in this row when you finish chain one again and insert your hook in the first stitch now i will cut the yarn and i will work with the yarn again Again, chain one, make a double crochet in the first stitch, then chain one, make a double crochet in the next stitch. As usual, continue until we reach the four double crochets we made in the middle. When you reach the four double crochets, make a double crochet in the first stitch then chain one and make two double crochets without any chain in between then chain one and continue working the same way until you reach the next four consecutive stitches
Here I'm going to make two double crochets without chaining in between. Continue working the same way until you reach the end, come back again. The final step in this row, chain one, insert your hook in the first stitch and cut the white yarn away. I'm going to use the white yarn for the edging. So for now, I'm going to cut the yarn and trans and switch to the blue color once again. Insert your hook in the first space and make a slip stitch. Now we're going to change the pattern of work. Chain one and make two double crochets in the first space. Then chain one again and And in the next space, make two double crochets as well. Continue working in the same way until you reach the two consecutive double crochets that have no chains in between. Here we're going to skip two double crochets instead of one from a space to a space. Make two double crochets, skip two double crochets in between and then make another two double crochets. Don't forget the chains in between each two double crochets we're working. Repeat these steps until you reach the end. Now all you need to do is to chain one again and insert your hook in the first stitch. Here we're going to cut the blue yarn and bring the light pink color. The yarn as usual, switching from blue to pink and start by chaining one. Here, look how I'm going to work. Now, after chaining one, you should insert your hook in the space that, that's before the first two double crochets we made from last row. We are not going to make one double crochet in the next space, as simple as that. Now, after finishing this stitch, two, chain two again and make a double crochet in the next space. And that's how we're going to work this row. Two chains, one double crochet, two chains, one double crochet in each space we have. Continue working in the same way until you reach the end of the row. And now we will chain two again and insert our hook in the first stitch. We're going to switch to the white yarn, cut the pink color, to insert our hook in the first space and make a slip stitch. Then we're going to chain one and make four double crochets in the first space. When you finish the four double crochets, chain three, and here I like to put my thumb on the third chain so that I know that this is the third chain. <laughs> chain six again, you should have nine chains in total. 
after chaining 9, insert your hook in the 6th chain from your hook. That means the chain that follows the third one we put our thumb on. Slip stitch to make a ring. Slip this ring to the other side and start working. Chain 3. Okay, yarn over twice. We will make a treble crochet three times. Three treble crochets. One, two, and three. When you finish the third treble crochet, chain two, insert hook in the ring and make a single crochet. Then chain two, yarn over twice, make another three treble crochets. When you finish these treble crochets, chain two, Insert your hook in the ring and make a single crochet. Then chain two again and make three treble crochets once again. You should have a flower shape. When you finish, chain 2 and insert your hook and make a single crochet once again. Look how it looks like. Now chain 3, skip 2 spaces, yarn over and make 4 double crochets in the 3rd space as follows. Repeat these steps all around the circle your doily should look like this it's very cute note that the last stitch or the last motif we're going to make we'll have one space in between. We have three and insert your hook in the first stitch from this row and slip stitch chain one cut off your yarn. I that's our final result. You can make this with one color or as many colors as you wish. You just have to clean the additional threads. If you don't know how to clean the threads I will leave a link for a video that shows three different ways to clean the threads in crochet. Thank you very much for watching.